Hello, it's Sarah. And I hope everyone, oh, there's my crazy dog. I hope everyone is able to stay cool today because here in New Jersey, I'm in South Jersey, it's probably 100 degrees. Well, maybe humidity wise, but it's hot. And uh, luckily we do have air. And so I'm enjoying that today. Um, maybe going in the pool in a little bit, but for right now, because I just got a couple things in the mail because I did put po I posted a pic on uh, my Facebook page of Maya holding some dragon's eyes up to her eyes and it looked really cool but I definitely I want to make more of these I want to uh, I have a couple more little uh, Altoid tins to cover and stuff like that and I'll probably shoot a tutorial but when I see these I just get excited I love them um, but this is what I got in the mail today look at this do you know what this is? Do, do, do. This is Tim Holtz fabric. Eclectic elements design roll. It's a jelly roll. And let's see if it says how many. Um, they're two and a half inch by 43 or 44, 24 pieces. So let's open it up and see what we have. I ordered this from Amazon and uh, it took it took kind of long to get which I'm surprised because I know Ranger is in um, New Jersey and they should just stock up on it and then they can ship it from there but let's see so I'm gonna make some book covers with this and let's have a look at it oops we'll see what kind of fabrics I was just working on another um, design for some applique because I also got, and I ordered this last night, and I ordered this one. I know that I have a low shank, uh, like, <clears throat> I don't know if they call it a, uh, an ankle, but whatever, the low shank. Um, and this is, this is for a low shank machine. It's a cheapie, I think. It's four, it was $14, and it's not the open toe. It is closed, but it, there is a little, like, indicator of where the straight, Part would be so I'm gonna play with this I'm gonna do a practice sandwich a little quilty practice sandwich anywho look at this so this is the first fabric 12 and 12 so maybe there's two each of 12 designs I'll go in a little bit so this is this one and you know what I'm not gonna be out oh look that's like melange Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Um, this one looks like ledger paper on this side. So it's a bunch of different papers. This looks like maybe library, I don't know, cards or all types of different stuff. This is has a United States Postal Service. So it's a coupon. And let's says bearer of passport so a passport page oh clocks got some clocks I got two clocks so maybe these were the same and they're just I don't know guys it's it's hard to tell the difference you know Tim's style there's a lot of similarities between them but these are definitely clocks and this is the well, it's not melange, but the butterfly print. Yay. And then a different color of that. Love it. Coney Island, Parkway, Queens, street signs in two different colors. This is just a stripe. A blue and tan stripe. An orange and tan stripe and a brown and tan stripe. Uh, what are these called? Type, type, um, they're like typewriter blocks, right, of the letters. So I have that in blue. Hey, my, making a video. Okay. Gray, script. I wish I could, I wish like, I, I'm pretty sure this was the only pack that was available because and this is called eclectic elements so maybe he has other 
styles. This says coats. I don't know what that means. But I'll save this and then that way I can match up any numbers and things like that when I buy another one so that I can see if there's different um, fabrics because I don't live anywhere near um, a fabric like a, a quilting shop so I'd really have to go quite a ways to get this looks like some of his earliest designs this is a lot of his um, first paper packs oh this is adorable though Look, there's a little guy over here. Like, these are labels. These are all labels. London Palace Hotel, the St. Moritz in New York. So this is all labels. I like this one. Japan. Rulers. I love that color palette. That's pretty. This is pretty. I like this. It has a lot of, there's like highlights and shading it almost looks like. Pretty browns and rulers some more script I really like the script a lot so I got that in tan this looks like a big label behind it and the gray and then these are what what are these these are like game pieces I guess the the numbers from game pieces bingo cards labels I don't know yeah but there's like a three of diamonds so we got two of those in two different colors but this is nice with like the blue the green the red like it has some variation of color because a lot of his palette is very um, um I would guess what does he call it um oh I don't know I can't think of the words my brain but yeah so I'm excited to have that I'm going to make a couple of the quilt as you go in stripes and then I think I might make a pillow cover we'll see how far it goes because there is only you know 24 um, strips and then you could use this just save this and use this in a in a piece as a little handle right all right you guys so that I just wanted to share um, I think I would like to get more of his fabric and play with it and uh, it's very fray. It has frays on it because it's all been cut. Um, and I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna incorporate my chickens, my little roosters or chickens into a, um, this is what I'm working on right now. I have a sun, a couple trees, and a rooster here and some flowers so we'll see how that looks and you guys have been so helpful um, absolutely I love all the input you've given me I've looked into it I figured out applique and um, quilt as you go are absolutely two different things and you know I mean and it all takes practice so I can't just expect to be able to do it overnight um, and take my time turning corners like I was just like <laughs> like forcing my machine to do stuff I'm crazy what can I tell you I get excited but yeah I'm gonna go play with these right now I think I'm gonna start anyway get my um, design laid out and um, alright I'll come back and share thanks for watching